Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts and to the Imperial Austria campaign for the Emperor. Yes, indeed. Indeed. And annoyingly, the Italians have done what I thought they were going to do. They have taken Montenegro. Now, I need to get my army logistics up, but it is troublesome. So I think we need... I'm building more torpedo boats. But I think we need more bigger ships. So I'm kind of hoping... Nope. That just hurts. <laughs> I was going to say, oh, I'm hoping that I'm going to get... A... No. Piss off. We do get the battleship 2 in a little bit. I could also make... Build refit. I could just copy this. And build another... Bat and start building battleships. Um... In fact, yeah, let's do that. So if you ever do this where you've you've built a base version of a ship and then refitted it, and you want to build more of the refits, there are two ways you can do it. You can build a base version and then refit it again. Or you can take your refit, you can hit view, load into the constructor, and then hit copy. And it'll create a brand new class of ship based on that refitted design with a new name. So this is going to be a... Uh, this is going to be an 1894 adjudicator. Uh, actually, let's not call it that. Let's call it the adjudicator. 1894 pattern. And then you save it, and you head back. And once you waited a million years for the uh, game to load back in, especially if you're playing later on in the campaign, um, you now have a brand new ship type that you that you can build. So we're going to build one of those. Uh, should I build two? Hmm. That could be amusing. Let's just build one for now. Better to be um, better to be sensible. Um, and uh, to keep things, you know, sane, uh, we'll build that in Pula as well. Um. That puts... Actually, we've got a lot of shipyard capacity that we're not using. Maybe I should build some more cardinals as well. In exactly the same way. I think that would be... That would be good. So this is going to be the cardinal... eighty ninety four pattern. And let's just build a bunch of those. Build, 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 build some, build some more armored cruisers, and then possibly build some some light cruisers as well. We'll have to see. Maybe, maybe as many as eight. No, that would be too much. Six. Nope, that's too many as well. Five. There we go. Five of those. Um. Yes, I'm going to name those and such. And uh, I'll see you back here after I've uh, finished a few turns. Well, um, that happened a little early, but <laughs> the Russians have turned into the Soviet Union. Um, yeah, I don't know what they were doing. They somehow managed to get their unrest really high and then implode. So, well done to them. <laughs> Oh, that means a war with uh, Russia far more likely. Although it would be lovely if we could just nip in there and grab Eastern Poland. Sorry, Pol actually, no, it's owned by Poland. No, we wouldn't be able to do that. I thought it was ungoverned. But no, the Poles revolted and then all, all, all sorts of things are going on. Kazakhstan's revolted. Oh, Russia. Um, <laughs> yes, I'm still very pissed off with this. Um... Relations between us and the Italians are still 
technically friendly, but I'm working on it. War between Britain and Germany has ended. Looking at the naval prestige, I'm going to assume the Germans won. <laughs> but uh, I don't think it resulted in any territory change or anything. Probably just a minor, minor little disagreement. Uh, we still have a few months to go on the new heavy cruisers. Uh, I think... Yeah, we've got... Them. Well, we don't know what that is. Yep, nothing on the horizon anytime soon in terms of new, new designs or anything. Okay, a few months later. Um, it's now February of 8th. Well, actually, it's quite a while later. But the ships are finished is the important thing. Where army logistics is up to 22%. Italians is 34. They, they, you know, I think our fleet is just superior. Anyway, I think we should get some more light cruisers. Um, which means, first of all, we can refit the enforcers. Uh, oh, no, we've already done that. Never mind. Um, let's get rid of those. And let's build an entirely new light cruiser. Uh, light cruiser... Hmm. Could be light cruiser 2. Basically, it's an upgraded enforcer. Um... Got the light cruiser one. Actually, they're 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 kind of fun. But um, no, let's cover the light cruiser two. So these are going to be basically super enforcers. Um, in fact, uh, that's such a fun name. <laughs> Why not? Um, yeah, four thousand tons. That sounds about right makes them pretty big. They can also be pretty fast at 21.5 knots. Although we probably can't get them to go that speed. Um, front tower. Yeah, rear tower. And a couple of funnels. So they are going to look very similar to the regular enforcers. Um, let's go with a six inch gun instead of a five. Wait for the game to remove all the uh, boats with torpedo launchers and go with three inch. Oh, it doesn't have the forward barbette, that's a shame. And Oops, a daisy. A couple of three inch guns on the side. So it is basically the same ship, just a little bit a little bit nicer. Right, multiple expansion engine balanced Ooh, nickel steel. That's a fancy thing. Definitely worth using that. I do not want nose views shells. Yuck. Gun cotton and white powder. 16 inch torpedoes. Yeah, that's all looking that's all looking pretty solid, actually. Um right. This thing has 50% armor quality, which is pretty nice. So we want a four inch main belt. So we can block. Oh, wait, let me call it 3.5 then. Uh, so we can just about block a six inch AP shell. And then probably 1.5 on the extended bits to block um, high explosive from this type of gun and AP from kind of a three or maybe a four inch gun. Deck plating is not important. Four inch on the tower. Something like that. Even have a little bit on the inner deck. 
Ooh, 90, 90%. Yeah, it's very good. Maximum bulkheads. Let's um, up their range a little bit. Ooh, yes, I like those. The super enforcers. Very, very nice. I also really like the look. Those funnels definitely give it a certain look. And look, we've even splurged down on deck deck planks. <laughs> okay, let's save that. And how many of these are we going to try and build? Probably as many as I can, actually. We just need to get our fleet size up a little bit so that we can properly contend with the Italians. Um, so, these super enforcers. Okay, so this is not a huge problem. We could probably build as many as... Yeah, we could build ten. Let's go for it. I'll do the names and uh, end the turn, and they should be finished in about ten months. Okay, uh, welcome back. Uh, it's now January of 1897. Um, we now have armored cruiser 4s if we wish, and I think we might wish, because um, the cruisers are finished and in service, which is fantastic. Also, all of you should be on limited. Thank you very much. Um, so yeah, the shipyards are idle. Um, that's never a great situation. Let's keep building them out before I forget. 32,000 tons. Well, that's pretty significant. Because politics-wise, our economy is looking healthy. We've eclipsed the Soviets. <laughs> We're keeping ahead of the Italians, just about, although they're starting to like us. Stop it. Um, our army logistics is now higher than the Italian, so I think now is the time to really start pushing on them. Um, let's have a look at that new... We also have a new battleship hull, which I haven't checked out. Uh, battleship 2, which is basically the battleship 1. This one. We get two battleship 2s. Okay. Awful one and a good one. And we also get the armored cruiser 4 which is, aside from being big, is actually a really nice ship. Hmm. Do I go armoured cruisers now? And the battleship later? Or do I go battleship now? Hmm. Well, let's have a look at the guns, actually. I don't have... Any Mark twos apart from 10 inch. What did the adjudicators have? They also had 10 inch guns, didn't they? So let's go battleship. Let's go for a new battleship. Um, it's basically going to be the adjudicator, but um, bigger, better, meaner. <laughs> Could go for a full 17,000 tons. Mind you, at 17,000 tons, I really should be using bigger guns than a 10 inch. Could I. Could I build this with 10 inch guns? I mean, that draft needs to come down. It, it bothers me so much. Um, the scaling on this hull is just stupid. But is it is it doable to build? Oh, that's going to have the world's worst offsets. <laughs> but it might it might be possible if I just shove which funnel actually fits inside the standards, right? Jesus, the engine efficiency is garbage. Um. Because I could do something like this. It's essentially a pocket battleship with ludicrously oversized weapons on it. Um, a t 
ton of secondaries. But the fact that I'm 95% and have no armor on this thing. Oh, let's make it as big as possible then. Uh, why would you move them like that? What the hell, game? <laughs> Parts sticking to the wrong place. Um, could I fit a fourth funnel in? Yeah. Cool. No, that's not the part I clicked on. Pretty sure. There we go. Uh, sure. Technically not a battleship. <laughs> Technically not. Nickel steel. But two. Standard. Ooh, we've got soft capped high explosive. Gun cotton, please. White powder. And then we've got 10% left for armor. Potentially. Uh, be the tyrant, I think. Mm, tyrant? No, let's go with the ambition. Um. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay, we're never going to protect against those 10 inches. Maybe on the extended bits. Which will also protect us against AP from our own 5 inch guns. The decks can have some armor. Uh, <laughs> yes, a little light, but <laughs> that's what I'd like to do. That ain't happening. <laughs> <laughs> oh my word! Right, three point two. Yeah, mid belt is way too heavy. Let's reduce it and basically reduce it until it drops down the list. Let's go for six inch of mid belt armor. Turret armor is also too much. Oh no, just plain old turrets are too much. Let's go for like eight. Eight. Six. Four percent. The funnels are too heavy. Really, the funnels? Um, cool. Let's drop two of them. And try and compress the ship. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Okay, this is, this is very... S <laughs> Do not build ships like this, please. This would be far more sensible with smaller guns. But I don't know what <laughs> I don't know what I'm thinking with this. This is a bad idea. <laughs> but what we have here is is a is a ship that should really have like six inch guns, but with ten inches. Maybe eights would have been sensible on this, but nope. Screw it, let's just put battleship guns on it and call it a day. <laughs> it's certainly ambitious. <laughs> okay, let's build a bunch of these. These are fun. <laughs> these are going to last like two seconds <laughs> in combat. Oh my goodness me, do not build ships like this. But uh, hey, we're here to have fun, right? Um, let's put six. Uh, I can just about afford it. We've got a bit of a naval fun float. 
and uh, I'm going to sit here and increase tensions with the Italians continuously. All right, the cruisers are finished, which is outstanding stuff. Um, let's have a check in with the Italians. They've been reticent to let me increase tensions. I've been trying my best. Um, compared to us, oh, they've got slightly higher army logistics. Even though our fleet is way bigger. Hmm. Doesn't seem fair. We do have a bigger population than them, so maybe our army to population is ratio is not as good. Um experimental armored cruiser. Fun. Uh we do have some new ships that we can look at. Um but uh, again, the battleship, I want to wait until we get, you know, Mark II 12s or something like that. We could refit. In fact, yes, we we should refit the adjudicators to use the new um, the new Mark Tens. Mm, adjudicator eighty ninety four view. Refit. And you might be thinking, wait a minute, those are the old Mark 1s. And yes, they are, because now, thanks to tweaks and fixes, you have to do this manually. So you can keep your bubble turrets if you want. Um, so that upgrades my case casement guns to Mark 2. But I actually have to press this button to upgrade the turrets. And this is super useful because if you have a hull that you really like, but the upgraded guns don't fit, you can actually check because if you do this and nothing fits anymore, you can you can just go, oh you know what? No, let's just exit, don't save. I'm gonna go back and um and then when you come back in you can keep the old guns so that they fit. Lovely. Love it. Fantastic feature. Right. 17 inch guns. Uh, let's get those advanced hydraulic turrets. Uh, let's get capped AP shells. We'll increase our punch considerably. Anti for two. Bobbit two and nickel steel. No engine upgrades, sadly. We can induce their boilers, um, which should give us a little bit of weight back and massively improve our engine efficiency. Uh, induced boilers are now flat better than naturals. Um, I thought it was, in fact, arguably all of them are now better than flat naturals. I thought it was a bit weird that the most basic engine tech was the best. Um, so now naturals are not very good. <laughs> induced though, look at that. Stunning, and now our range issues are fixed even though we're not carrying very much coal means we can increase the number of bulk kits we have which is also super super useful so yeah let's let's do that that's definitely a worthwhile investment it's a shame that I won't get to fight with the bubble turret because I do love them they just look so much fun um, <laughs> and I know there's probably very sensible reasons why they moved away from those Kind of bubble turrets, but I just think they're great. Right. The so the adjudicator and Rylanor can both be refitted, and you may be thinking, wait a minute, uh, what about your other one, the eighteen ninety four pattern? Yeah, sadly. Uh, no, not sadly. Yeah, that 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 is how it works. That's what I thought. So the eighteen ninety four pattern will now be absorbed into this, the 1898. So, another reason why making cop copies of refits is fine. Um, because, yeah, if I click on this one... Yeah, we don't have any of those anymore. Which is perfect. So, we will let that go through and then I'll clean up, clean up the... 
uh, design list. I think that's worth doing. And we also have a new torpedo boat. The torpedo boat destroyer. Which we definitely, definitely want. Um, let's keep them nice and small. 600 tons. Uh, and these will be the Vipers. Uh, same basic design, I think. Um, oh wait, you can you can shove that like inside the forward superstructure. Interesting. Didn't know you could do that. Uh, let's go three inch guns on these. A three inch gun can be pretty nice. Three that three inch Mark II. They're pretty pretty solid little weapons. Um, we can got. In torpedo launches. Ooh, that is fancy. Let's go with like a single standard funnel. And can I get two twin torpedo launches? That would be four torpedoes. Oh, ho, ho. Yeah, that could be very spicy. Uh, very spicy indeed. Uh, let's stick with gun cotton. Uh, maybe... Uh, screw it. Let's muck around with some soft cap. Seeing as they mostly use high explosive. These ships. Multiple expansion engine. Hydraulic steering. Induced... Po I didn't even ch look check that on the battleships. Someone will be telling me in the comments. It's fine. Wow, these things... <laughs> these things are crazy. Crazy good. 29.5 knots? Screw it. Can you push it to 30? No. <laughs> nope. You can out. Maximum bulkheads. Um, I mean, I'm not getting everything on these. But those are potentially nasty little buggers. Popping out with three three-inch guns. Well, two, two most of the time. But potentially when they're coming in at you three, and then dumping four 17-inch torpedoes. It's not terrible. Really is not terrible. And, okay, they're a lot more expensive than the Pythons. But they... They're cheaper than... They're cheaper than a, a light cruiser. So, kind of right ballpark. Uh, how many of these do you think we can build? Because that would be that would be great. Just spam. <laughs> I'm just going to end up spamming torpedo boats. <laughs> oh dearie me. Um. Yes. So the Vipers. How many can we build? Um, probably quite a few. Let's build let's build twenty of them. That'll give us a lot more ships. Basically doubling our torpedo boat forces. Uh, our battleships will be up to up to snuff. Uh, maybe we can go with yeah. We're just about to get the eleven inch mark two. And then if I rush to get the 12 inch mark two after that, we can start building some more battleships. And we can keep telling the Italians that they smell. Okay, um, the other thing we really should be doing is refitting those Python class ships. Um, which will be nice. We can give them rangefinder, bigger guns, improve their guns to mark two. Um, get them those new turrets. Stop them using quite as explosive stuff. And yeah, let's give them the soft capped shells as well. Anti-flooding system. And then, yeah, when we give them a multiple expansion engine, that gives us the weight to do it. Beautiful.
Um, I think I'll keep the two single launches for now, because these reload quicker than a double. Um, in terms of displacement, if I'd been over, then yeah, the two, a twin is more weight efficient than two singles, at least if you're playing the Dreadnought Improvement Project, it is. Right. Um, yeah, let's get all those pythons refitted as well. And then we'll be look, we'll be in a good place because we've got the Mark II 12 inch guns pretty soon. Mark II 12s basically means we don't have to worry about big guns for a bit. Um, and we can focus on other things, which is great. Yeah, refit all of those. And we didn't go over, did we? Nope. So we're going to have some spare capacity to do something. Now oh, those had sevens, right? Yeah, we've not got the Mark II sevens yet. Okay. Uh, hey, Italy. Oh, I already told them they smelt this turn. Um, right, see you soon. Okay, welcome back. It's cost me a lot of naval prestige. People don't really appreciate me <laughs> stirring things up with the Italians all the time. But I'm going to keep doing it because I really want to have a go at them because... Oh, actually, oh, fucking hell, they've built a couple of battleships, the little shits. Um, okay, well, that's fine, because that's exactly what I'm about to do. Um, we need a new class of battleship. We're going to make these big. Um, Full-sized, with 12-inch guns. Take that, Italy. So, yeah, we're going to go 12-inch... Mark II's, a very nice little weapon system. We're going to go for 6-inch guns in the casement slots. Or the casemate slots. Um, hilariously, we can build cage masts, but um, no. <laughs> We're going to go with this one and this one. Yeah, that looks good. Uh, we're going to go for multiple expansion induced. And we can probably get away with like a single funnel. Yep, one big funnel in the middle. Uh, we want this to do 18 knots. Ooh, okay, maybe, maybe two smaller funnels instead then. Yeah, that gives us plenty of funnel capacity. Let's keep that kind of gap-toothed look that these Austrian ships are developing. Um, oh, three torpedo launchers on each side. Love it. Sadly, for playing the Imperial Navy, we can't just put, like, six torpedo launchers on the front and an armoured prow and other such amusements. But, um... I <laughs> guess we have to nod to uh, real life a little bit. Right. Um... Yes, yes, yes. Good. Standard... You know what? Yeah, let's let's run with soft cap. No, 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 not the explosive stuff. Um, so I draw like seventeen-inch torps, a range finder, and look at this. Look at the difference. We can have maximum bulkhead, standard crew quarters. Oh, this is night and day designing this ship. This is going to be the Oberon. Now these things. Can definitely have some armor on them. Right, how much are we talking here? Whoa, cave. <laughs> Those are punchy, punchy guns. Okay, let's look at the sixes first. So we need probably four inch, four aft, and superstructure. That will also probably stop most HE. Uh, in terms of the deck armor, I think 1.5 and then minimal. That means the six inch guns can be armoured up as well. Uh, this top of the turrets. Right. Um, point two there. There's no way you can put 20 inches of conning tower armour on it, is there? 15. Okay. If we go 15. We could. Oh, okay. So te technically. 
were only really armoured against their own guns at more than 7,500 metres. But the likelihood that we're coming up against ships with that kind of firepower is unlikely. Um, very unlikely. We can't fit a 15-inch main belt, sadly. I nearly forgot the main belt. That would have been a disaster. 13... Yeah, it's going to be 12, isn't it? Really only fit a 12-inch main belt. Now, that would protect us against... Like a 10-inch gun or a 9-inch gun, but anything bigger is, is a real worry. But that's fine, and we just need to reduce the range by one step. Um, maybe we can get some more belt armor on. <laughs> Jesus, this game going nuts. Oh, we could nearly get the 15. Oh, that would be so good. Let's go with 14. Um, yeah, let's go with 14. That that That's much heavier. So we can resist the odd 11-inch shell. 10-inch shells are going to have a real hard time. So... To hurt this ship, you're going to have to be bring, bringing 11, 12s, 13s, or torps, basically. And I think that looks mighty fine. That's 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 a really nice pre-dreadnought, in my humble opinion. That is potentially going to cause all sorts of problems for our enemies. Okay. Love it. How many can we build? That's probably the more important question. And they're probably not going to be ready for this Italian war, annoyingly. Um, we have just enough to navally invade Montenegro. Uh, we could build three. Yeah, okay. Let's do it. Three Oberons. Hmm. Okay, so yeah. War with Italy would be to attack Montenegro. We need at least 100,000 tons, which we can just about do if we send our battleships and all of our heavy cruisers and probably a bunch of the light cruisers as well and then rely on the torpedo boats. That's probably what we're going to have to do. But... um Let's see how how much those Italians appreciate the insults I'm sending their way. Here we go. Yes, let's go. War. Smashing. Right, we're not going to get any action until uh, next turn. Although, um, the army is attempting to push into Serbia. Although... As it's an actual country, I don't know how well that's going to go. Right, now they're all war, we're going to take the entire fleet. And slap them onto sea control. We're going to take uh, all the force we can. And dump it over here. Um, actually, I might not have to do that. Because, yeah, we can. We can just do it straight away. Woo, Montenegro. Yes. Send um, the two battleships. Uh, let's send uh, the two ambition. The th let's send the ambitions. Let's leave the Emperor's glory here. Um, move, and then I want to send some escorts. Uh, so let's send more of the ambitions. And some super enforcers from here. Lovely. And then I've got anything in Katara that can be handy. Uh, no more ambitions. More super enforcers. There we go. I've not even looked at flaws. I probably should have done <laughs> at some point. Um, I'm assuming that we've got quite a few. Actually, not bad on the battleships. Uh, you're just looking for like a big wall of text. If 
of floors. Actually, surprisingly low floor numbers. Anyway, let's go. Montenegro shall be ours. Thank you very much. I love that big flag. That's good. That that. Yeah, let's get them. <laughs> let's get those Italians. And although I don't think it'll go through, um, that attack up here is very helpful because this locks down the Italians so they can't push back against us. Um, really? No action? 100%? Oh. Yes, please. I'll take a 100% chance to invade a province. Yes, please. Uh, okay, we do not want the Americans getting angry with us. Boom. Port's right. TNT1. Ooh, that's that's very good. Yes, you can have some of those. Okay. A battle. Yes, please. We'll do one, and then we'll do the others in the next episode. Uh, what's the most interesting? Ooh, that's a bit spicy. Um, gives us a chance to have a look at what they're packing. 12-inch guns. That is going to have, like, no armor at all on it. Pretty sure. Um, still a bit spicy. This one, though. Yeah, let's have a go with this one. Some heavy cruisers against uh, a convoy. Sure. I mean, it's 1890s, so... Pff, it's going to take forever and a day to, to do anything, but sure. I want you guys to just follow. Of course, no AI button anymore. So I've no idea where the enemy is. Really think that was a, a bit of a weird thing to do, to take that away. It was so handy just to be able to go press 1 on and off and you knew you were heading in the right direction. Um, southwest. Over there somewhere. They are they are funny looking. <laughs> Big giant funnel. Teeny tiny guns. Enormous towers. Oh, someone's in range. And we also have Enforcer and Bellator the Inceptor here with us. Oh my god, they're attacking me with torpedo boats. Um, initiate Kamchatka uh, panicking noises. Torpedo boats are a massive threat in the early campaign. They only have 0.9 kilometer torps, though. Mind you, so do I. So they are potentially very worrisome. Oh, we got a hit on it. Oh, yes, who was that? Cardinal. With a four-inch gun. That helps massively. Can't really go wrong with a torpedo boat. Seems like a decent design. Defense torpedoes. Oh, yes. Okay, they fired back on the enforcer. Uh, hard turn, like, extremely hard. Full stop. Got it. Force is going to take a torpedo here. Oh, ho, 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 ho. you jammy sword. Right. 
get back on station. Right. Well, dealt with a torpedo boat. There are other ships, though, around, supposedly. So you get instant spotting now that that was removed. That, to be fair, probably is quite useful for performance because there was a big old lag when you would click on a ship. Uh, let's have a look at the Andrea Doria. What do you got? Uh, you've got some armor. No armor on the main or foredeck, but that's totally fine in this era. Seven inch and a nine inch gun. Okay. Yeah, you're not terrible. Yeah, you're not terrible. Light cruiser? Semi-armoured cruiser. I mean, very semi-armoured. <laughs> but sure, I mean, compared to ours, uh, yeah, it's not, not the worst I've seen. Um, obviously, the AI doesn't really understand that you don't need deck armor in this era, but it's trying. Neither of those designs are bad. The AI tends to prefer hulls like uh, like this one, actually, where there's basically only there's a limited number of things you can do. It's like put turret here, put turret here, pick how big it is. A funnel here, put these towers here, put the guns in the slots, you're done. Um, randomly generate the rest. And it's fine. Uh, it really struggles with the the more permissive modern stuff where, you, where it's got to think about where to put stuff. But uh, improvements have been made uh, as much as I can. As much as uh, Nathan, who made uh, tweaks and fixes. And uh, I am currently working on uh, Dreadnought Improvement Project version 3, which will have significantly uh, improved ship design, or at least I hope so. Once I can get it working anyway. Uh, because I can finally assign minimum armor values. Uh, so I can tell the AI to stop being stupid. <laughs> so that's very exciting. Right, allow the murdering of... Start the murdering of transports. I know how dangerous Italy was in the American campaign. Do not want them uh, to get away with just sitting there and building their economy up. lucking out with a pushover war against the Austrians. Right, that cruiser is firing back. Five, please. We've got a green crew, but I think that is pretty much as far as we can train them for now. It's fine. They can train up through uh, through combat. Go through their main belt point three. Yeah. We're about the right range. The seven inch AP shells should be able to should be able to hurt it if they get a good 
good uh, if we get a good contact. Probably deck skipping. If they hit the deck, they'll just bounce right off. Yeah, look, four inch are going through it. Well, they really shouldn't be. It's probably misreporting where the main belt is. No desire to enter torpedo range to finish them off. They also have green crews, so Italy has not been scrimping. Good to see. Got him. Lovely. these light cruisers. 10 million each. Okay, so they're a little bit more expensive than ours. And the heavy? 20. Again, a little bit more expensive than ours. So the Italians should be thinking that they can do some damage to us here. Four inch guns have done the most damage. Uh, that was historically what would often happen as well. Um, the casemate guns, secondary batteries would uh, do more damage than the primary ones. Just because they fire more quickly, they had a better chance to hit. shells. Potentially a problem. Ah. Down goes the Guisano. Thudding. Very good. And Agordat also goes down. That means we can try and close in on that heavy cruiser cruiser at this point, isn't it? Main deck penetration? Yeah, of course it doesn't have any armor on the deck, so I guess if a shell hits it, it'll do some damage. The game does give you, like, 0.1 inch for free, which is why you always see me putting at least 0.2 on, because otherwise you might as well just put zero. Unarmed transports. Yeah, that cruiser, I think, is just trying to stick with the transports, but it'd be better off uh, trying to be a bit more aggressive. So we're slowly just overhauling each ship in turn.
I mean, they've taken a little bit of fire, but it's not that much. Mind you, they only have single nines. Oh, that was a big hit. Seven inch gun managed to find the deck. Firing both sides. Just like the Emperor intends. Firing our macro cannons at the enemy. Broadside to broadside. <laughs> Yeah, aside from being a little bit slow, I think our ships are performing pretty well at the moment. We've taken hardly any damage. And, uh, well, aside from that brief moment with the torpedo boat, we've done a fair bit of damage back. that I just think you might get a torpedo off oh they did why didn't I oh you sh oh I did okay so we both hit each other okay Right, Empress Glory, detach and withdraw. The Cardinal's going to take over. I mean, that did heavily damage the Doria there. She's running around with maximum bulkheads. Ooh, did you hear torpedoes just get blown off? No, sadly not. torpedoes remaining you can destroy the torpedoes completely then she's a sitting duck all of her launches on her port side, the side that's facing us, are out. Force it. Close in. Deliver Deliver some uh, presents. Stuff. Here they come. Hmm, it was a good hit, not on the correct compartment. Mm, 
Bellator can dump some more. Whoa, Cardinal. Jeez. It's a bit excessive. them again, please. Right. Come on. Lumbering ships. Really want to finish the Andrea Doria off. Oh, she surrendered. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. An auspicious start to our campaign. And bloody hell, 31,000 victory points? Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> ah, yes, please. Thank you very much. All right. Uh, well, thank you very much for watching as well. And uh, I'll see you again soon for some more Ultimate Apple Dreadnoughts. Bye for now.